back. I'm back now. All right, Ray. Whenever you're ready, man. Thanks, uh, Coach. Uh, last uh, non-conference game on the schedule. Are are arguably one of the more uh, bigger teams on the schedule. Uh, just how do you go to prepare about this game and uh, knowing what you already know about your own team right now? Yeah, I think from us, we we figured out watching the last three games on video after playing, um, you know, and then looking at stats uh, that we've had a lot of good moments in the games, uh, whether it be possession, uh, creating chances, getting good looks on goal. It, it's you know, it comes down to individual moments at times uh, where it really comes out to 18s, both ends of the, uh, of the field, you know, being sharper in the 18s to, to punish teams for those good chances, but also uh, in, in the back there, making sure that we don't give them anything, right? If, you, if you're going to give something away, it has to be because they've earned it. So, uh, and the stats kind of support that, right? Uh, we've had a lot of possession, a lot of time in front of their their goal, the opponent's goal, um, corner kick, something we need to to start to get goals off of uh, for us offensively, but then also reassuring that we stay focused on it defensively. So um, looking at that, I think the improvement in those areas um, with training, I think it helps, right? And then having guys now game three, game four, where some guys are already going into game seven, um, getting those guys up to speed. Uh, and, and then getting guys healthy too, you know, that's another big piece. Um, you know, when, when, especially when you have moments that you can make substitutions being so limited, uh, you gotta know that you can trust the guy can get out there and give you a long shift as opposed to 15 minute span, uh, because you only get six of them to use in a, in a match. So, um, we know SMU will be tough. We, we expect them, uh, you know, number 16 in the country, watched them play last night against FIU, really good match. It gave us a good picture of of things that we could hopefully uh, expose on them uh, as weaknesses, but also make sure that we cover and protect their strengths. And speaking of that, you know, the substitution thing has been, I, I guess, a problem for all coaches across the nations. But for you, uh, just how do you handle and approach that, knowing that you only get a, a, an X amount, knowing that you've got players that are in between the lines of like trying to make their way back and players that are in form at the moment. Yeah. That's been, a, I think one of the biggest things, all coaches I've, I've talked to what, what is the right way to make the substitutions in the first half and second half, knowing that once the team uh, player comes off, he's done for that half. So um, I think injuries is a big thing, right? H how healthy is the player? Um, you know, typically you used to be able to bring a player on first half, work in the game, how do you feel second half, bring them in and out second half if needed, where, you know, you, you can't just burn those those moments of substituting so freely. So um, just kind of figuring out, you know, fitness, match fitness, I think has been more of importance, you know, finding out what, what your lineup is, who's going to play on the day, um, and, and making them uh, extend their minutes. Uh, so when you make that sub, you know that there really wasn't much else they had left in the tank. Um, as opposed to taking a guy off and he still is is in form and he's feeling good on the, on the moment in the match. Now, for you, on a defensive note, you guys seem to have had some problems there. Just how do you just correct those little things, knowing that conference plays around the corner and where do you just fine-tune those things and knowing that you're still getting players back and you've had – just a, a pool of players just a, a available at the time. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us, I, I look at it, right, going into takeaway Oral Roberts, uh, you know, we're, we're less than a goal of match we were giving up. So I was a little skewed on the stats when you see, you know, one game where you just didn't do well defensively in the team, you know, in fairness to them, they punished us for it. So I take that into consideration too when I look at that. Uh, but just looking at certain areas that come up from, previous video as a group um if those continue to be problems is now figuring out you know what more can we do to address those uh, and i think that's been a great thing about you know not playing until this sunday and then having another full week to prepare for a first conference match is is you have a little bit more time to help not only your group but individuals improve in those areas that have hurt us over the uh past six games of which will be seven at that point and the last one on my end, Coach, you know, you started out with a, a string of early games, okay, almost playing back to back to back, and now you're in that part of the season where now you're starting to get those breaks in. 
just where do you feel about your your team's fitness at the moment uh knowing that now conference players is going to come come around and you're going to have to like take care of players just a little bit more whether it's injuries disciplinary issues just so where, where do you just stand on in in your team's uh, general standing at the moment Yeah, looking at the the periodization that we do uh, when we plan out, you know, this is our time. We looking at the schedule. We knew we were going to have basically, you know, two weeks where we're going to play two matches, and one of those obviously being a conference match. We knew, it, it, you know, fitness early on in the week was something that we got to work on, uh, which we've been able to do. Which which may not help you for a Sunday, but it'll help us for our first conference match for sure. So for us to be able to get those few sessions in, where it's just to get and continue to get the match fitness of, you know. 12, 13, 14 guys really where we want it, um, typically what you use in a match. Um, that was important for us. And and you said it, the other piece is just fixing areas where you need to improve uh, and continue to make sure you're still sprinkling sessions where you're hitting topics that you've been successful as a group. All right. Thank you, Coach. Uh, appreciate the time.